<laughs> hey guys, it's Vanessa and Chuck coming to you from the future um, to tell you that <laughs> our audio sucks. Yes, again, um, again. Again, uh, we have been having a little bit of cell phone interference, so there's a little bit of distortion in case you guys are like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Um, it's our typical audio bad issues. audio. <laughs> So we, deal we with it. Make, we will be making cell phone rules in the future. Exactly. Thanks for listening. Yeah. So no cell phones while you're listening to this. <laughs> <laughs>I was that has happened because I don't wake up before eight that often. I can probably count on one finger. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the idea of being a morning person, but I have this thing where when I go to bed, <laughs> when it reaches like 11, I'm like, oh, it's almost time. It's but then almost. I get this anxiety. Put a little TM over my head. <laughs> um, I get this anxiety and I'm like, no. I don't want my day to be over yet. This is bullshit. I spent like eight hours of it working. I'm going to spend as much of it as I can doing what I want. I'm going to do so much in the next two hours until I get really tired. And then I just fucking just lay on the couch and watch like TikTok or like brainlessly watch TV. Yeah. Like I'll turn on TV and just be like in a trance. And I'm like, I might as well be sleeping right now. Yeah. But. Oh. So. Welcome to episode 23 Wow! of F That. Auto chat. This is like six months we've been doing this now. Ish. Ish? Ish. Yeah, we started in November. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. At, at, on one hand, it feels like we've been doing it for a really long time. And then my glasses are filthy. I can't really clean them with a sweater. <laughs> um... Where's, do I have a cleaning I got this. cloth? You got it. There's Kleenex over there. Too late. I hey. have sat down. <laughs> I am not moving in my tight jeans and this fucking chair. <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't notice, I, used, I got a different chair. It actually looks really nice. Yeah, this is one from my living room. And in a future episode when stores open, Vanessa and I are going to go shopping for new chairs. <laughs> I got rid of uh, 
The spare chair. Yeah. I, I'm on this, I don't know why I keep looking at the camera, I'm like, <laughs> good morning, Canada. It's okay, everyone's um, <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the dogs is a weak toy, it threw me off. One thing about waking up 50 minutes ago, 5-0, not 15, is that the ADHD is real right now. <laughs> it's always real. Um, what was I saying? The chair? The chair. You got rid of the chair. I feel like I was bridging into something else. Yes. What did you, oh, this did you app. Get? Yes. So this app, it's only, I, it's you can get it and use it anywhere, but I feel like it's only really popular in like Ottawa and Toronto. Okay. Um, It's called Buns, B-U-N-Z. Um, use it. It's really cool. Um, but basically it's a trading app. Okay. Um, so you can kind of see why it's only popular in like Ottawa and Toronto, especially Toronto, because... Everybody kind of does that stuff. A yeah. bunch of hippies. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I posted the chair on there. I posted it on Kijiji. I was trying to get money back or like at least something cool. Yeah. And normally on buns, I get a lot of plants. Whenever okay. I'm cleaning out, like you can, so you can make a list. It's called your ISO list, your in search of. Okay. And you put it on your profile. So when you list something, people check your list, see what you want in exchange for it. If they have it, they'll offer Cool. Okay. Um, it's really cool. There's not really any money involved. You can ask for money, but it's like kind of like an unspoken, like it's frowned upon. Yeah. Um, gift cards are accepted too, but it's kind of rude to ask for gift cards. Okay. Um, anyways, so I listed it and, uh, people can like it. Um, and normally I just trade for plants and I was like, someone wants to trade for like a sick, like fully grown plant, you know, that would be dope. So I posted it and nobody responded, but people liked it. So I went through this one girl's profile who liked it and she had this really dope sweater. <laughs> that I sweater. traded the other chair for this fucking hippie sweater. <laughs> and I was like, I need another drug rug. But this one is special. This one uh, <laughs> has two giant pockets on the side and... Oh, a place to hide your weed. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I guess that's what it's for. Look like, you know how many snacks I can put in here. <laughs> what else can I put in here? It's pretty, It's it goes up. Uh, you could put like a baby kangaroo in yeah, there. Yeah, I could. I could put the rats in here. Oh, that would be so cute. Anyways, yeah. So that's where the, this is the chair now. I owe you $30. <laughs> I was like, if oh. Chuck thinks this is weird, whatever. It was a good trade-off for me. <laughs> I got another really cozy sweater to look even more like a stoner. I wasn't going to wear it today. I'm glad you did. This is the kind to of stuff I... To explain what happened to the other chair. No. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I wear on my days off. Yeah. And that's it. And camping. Okay. But I love these. So, yesterday, got home, made burgers, and then Sue was like, Let's go out shooting. Because I told her about those, those foxes. I, I saw oh, foxes yeah. on the way to work yeah. yesterday morning. So I called her. I said, there's foxes. There's a fox den right there. And she went over. She couldn't find it. So then I brought her there last night. And there's Mama Fox. And she's got six kids. Oh, my God. Is she raising them on her own? Yes. Wow. What a yeah. strong, independent woman. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But, oh, man, they were playing and everything. Did you so, get good photos? I don't know. I think so. Oh, I can't wait so, to see them. Yeah, I'm going to edit them at Did work. Did Sue get good photos? We don't know. <laughs> we haven't had time to look too. at them. So <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, so, yeah, we were there for probably a good 45 minutes. Wow. And uh, Mama was keeping an eye on us, on us. But, yeah. Is it, like, right on the island part? Like... Around all that cement? Yeah. Why there? I don't know. Did you try did you try to clean the shit stain out of the thing? Yeah. Like it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna it's to... stained. <laughs> we'll have to put it in the wash. When I was yeah, when I was getting up last time, I feel like I should clarify. <laughs> you clean my shit stain off. 
<laughs> when she was getting up last time, she shit her pants. Yeah, it's really hard to get out of this chair. Okay, it's a lot of fucking strain. <laughs> Especially for me. That's why I got rid of mine. It's not even like just shitting your pants. It's like a shark. Like, you know, there was a lot of force behind it. Okay, I really feel like I need to clarify because we feel like Vanessa actually shit her pants. I have not shit my pants not today. in a very long time. I was like, when's the last time I shot my pants? I don't think I've shot my pants in my youth or adulthood yet. 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 One day there's, I'm going to have dairy and there's not going to be a fucking toilet. Um, anyways, that was, I feel like, a little... I got up last time after we finished filming and I had co the coffee in my hand and the coffee spilled, like, right along here. But it's, like, right where someone's ass would be, like, in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't... I didn't shit myself. <laughs> I sharted. <laughs> sharted. There's a dinosaur upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so, camera news? <laughs> what? I was just looking at Fuji and then I looked up and he's fucking mangling another toy. He's like pulling a thread <laughs> with his face. And like... oh, okay. oh my god. Titan reminds me. Sorry. There will be camera news after this thought. Titan reminds me of like that, like, tame beast in, like, every fantasy movie that's, like, a domesticated creature. You know what I mean? Like, oh, how some okay, people have, like, yeah. a domesticated, like, fucking, like, griffin or something. Like Sebastian the Lobster. Sure. <laughs> Are you talking about the Little Mermaid? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Not. I mean, he does remind me of Sebastian a little. No, like, <laughs> have you seen the Harry Potter movies? Yes. Okay, you know how Hagrid has all those, like, animals and stuff? Yeah. And I think, what is it, a griffin? Yes. I can't remember. I and he so. has like a know. big griffin and he keeps it as a pet outside and it just like eats meat and is like just this giant monster. That's what Titan reminds me of. <laughs> You're a Hagrid. <laughs> Bald Hagrid. <laughs> I don't know what that would make Sue. Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, camera news. Camera news. Um, what was it? Fuji. Yeah. They released a roadmap. Yes. So they've already come out with some pretty interesting lenses this year. Um, but some of the ones that are coming is we've got a 33 millimeter 1.4. Sorry, I keep going. <laughs> a 23 millimeter 1.4 version 2. Yep. And a 56 1.2 version 2. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder what the difference is between the Mark 1s and the Mark 2s. There's an extra line. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's really helpful. <laughs> And a one fifty to six hundred. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm really excited to see how that's gonna. I mean, obviously, it will come out beautifully. Yeah. But now that one's coming out in like twenty twenty two. Yeah. But yeah, one fifty to six hundred. Yeah, that's next year. Yeah. So. Can't believe it's already twenty twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, don't know dates or anything like that don't know prices don't know specs or nothing but for the most part all of them were between 2021 and 2022 yeah that's so, yeah. exciting i feel like that's probably it for fuji i haven't heard fuji news in a while no no and um we got some more specs on the canon r3 yeah um we jotted them down but the ones with the stars are the new ones so the Whatever website we got this, or you, I think, whatever website we pulled the specs from, um, there are a couple ones that we already knew, but we might as well go over them again. Yeah, just wanted to, like, those are stars? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been awake for very long, okay? Um, I also realized that we should have put the global shutter on there, but I feel like we talked about it in last, in last week's episode for so long that nobody can forget that there's a global shutter in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 45 megapixel. That's new, I think. Yeah. We didn't it's, know that. Well, confirmed. 45 megapixel. Yeah. Uh, quad pixel <laughs> autofocus. <laughs> He's got, uh... Does he have something in his throat? Acid reflux. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that, that, that was the craziest sounding thing. He's like, <laughs> Please cut that. Um, <laughs> 
there's the standard like so the standard stuff get it out of the way that we already knew last time is it has a quad pixel a uh, yeah. auto focusing system um you have your 8k 30 raw shooting um i feel like that's pretty much the stuff we knew before and then your yeah. global shutter yeah there's 60 frames per second with the quad pixel autofocus. Yeah. Which is really impressive because, yeah, just trying to get it to autofocus with that speed is, that's impressive. So I feel like maybe we should touch on what quad pixel AF is. Um, I feel like the title kind of gives, gives it away, but just for people who don't understand, like me, um... That was a really nice transition, wasn't it? Oh, so I have to explain this now? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. And I okay. feel like other people might want to know yeah. who don't really know what so, it is. I, I am <laughs> going to screw it up, so I'm, I'm just going to... Cheater. Yeah, I'm going to cheat. Because <laughs> I call you a cheater. I just asked what it is because I don't fucking know. God, pixel. I mean, I can I can imagine. Um, a lot of my time in the, the camera industry has been guessing. Quad pixel autofocus leads on from dual pixel autofocus technology, okay, so which is where there are dedicated left looking and right looking pixels on the image sensor that are used to calculate whether an image is in focus or not. Okay, so it's just like more detail. Yeah, so it's basically instead of sampling from two pixels, it'll sample from four pixels. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's cool. All right. I just wanted to touch on that yeah. so I could refresh my memory and also because I don't I think a lot of people like to listen, but they might not know what a lot of this stuff is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's and Canon's dual pixel autofocus is probably one of the best autofocus systems in the market. Yeah. And now they're doubling down on that. Would you say it's the best? Yes. For a while, it was Sony that had the best autofocus. No. Maybe that was eye tracking I'm thinking of. For a while, Sony yeah, had Sony the best had the best eye tracking. Eye tracking. And it didn't take the others long to catch up. Yeah, but Sony still uses, I think it's phase detect. No, they have an eye detect too. No, phase. Oh. <laughs> Not face. What does Sony use for autofocusing? <sighs> I don't think I've heard quad pixel in any of their systems, but again, no, I don't really look into Sony too much. So phase detection and contrast detecting autofocus from Sony okay. which is old technology oh, okay now no one else uses a quad pixel or dual pixel autofocus because that's like proprietary Canon. to Canon yeah yeah so cool and sorry I cut you off after 60 frames per second with quad pixel yeah uh, 20 frame per second mechanical shutter 30 frames per second with electronic shutter uh, new white balance system and a new resolution trick with pixel shift. Okay. And basically what they're talking about is like a 45 megapixel image or sensor, mm -hmm. right? With pixel shift, the pixels shift. <laughs> wow. Right? <laughs> Whoa, man. And it doubles the resolution. So oh. it will make it a 90 megapixel. Jesus Christ. And it's like they're talking patent pending. Olympus has that. Do they? Yeah. They call it something else though? No, they use pixel shift technology for high res shooting. I wonder if that means that Olympus is going to like... Because if they patent it, doesn't that mean Olympus can't use it anymore? Without like their permission? Was it something that just existed without a patent before? Well, no, I think... Canon is using a different type of shift or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We won't know until it's official. But yeah, like Olympus has been doing it for years. Yeah. So hmm. did you, I went out and got my COVID vaccine. You did. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. I got the, Have you been talking to Bill Gates? Better cell reception? I got better cell reception. <laughs> I got the AstraZeneca. Okay. Yeah. And How's your blood clots doing? Good. Sorry. Yeah, no blood clots yet. And uh, now yet. I don't have spider webs or yeah. spidey senses. Yeah. I don't have super strength. Um, I can't fly. But what? watch this. Are you going to fart or something? No, I could turn invisible. Ready? What? 
<laughs> you can't see me, can you? Where is? Where are you? <laughs> I'm yeah, sitting so, right here. I haven't I'm moved. So, so bad at acting. I'm like, <laughs> where are you, Chuck? Where could he be? <laughs> You've never seen the show Zabumafu, right? No. Okay. It's a children's show, so probably not. No. no Never I'm, mind. I've stopped being a child like 10 years ago. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've stopped. <laughs> I'm preteen, though. <laughs> if, what would you say you're... Because you're, you know how everybody says they're like mentally in their head a different age? What are you? 12? Uh, four years old. <laughs> I feel like I stopped at 90. At 90? I definitely have, like, the fucking body of a 90-year-old, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> My brain thinks I'm how old? I don't know. I want to say, I, I always used to say that, like, I feel like I'm 18. I don't. 18 stupid. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, an easy 60 years old now. Really? No. No. <laughs> I feel like I am precisely... 25 and three quarters which is how old i am yeah <laughs> um i was like wait a second but my body has a different plan for me yeah <laughs> my body thinks it's like a solid 80 to 90 years old all those surgeries and that's why i shot myself when i got <laughs> <laughs> ah. so what else were we going to talk about I should probably get back into focus, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking to a ghost the whole time. I was going to say, speaking of ghosts, but that show has nothing to do with it. We started watching Forensic Files. I don't know why I thought that had to do with ghosts. Started watching Forensic Files because there's no really good new, like, serial killer, like, crime documentaries. Yeah. Have you seen The Serpent yet? No. I want to, I think I want to watch that, but I don't know. It's by Netflix. Okay. I'm not sure how to feel about Netflix stuff still. I might give it a, give it a watch instead of watching the same stuff over and over again. You finally got to see Ant-Man and the Wasp. Or no, Ant-Man. Yeah. Ant -Man. We were, we started watching the second one. Oh yeah? Well, the, you and I, like we did at work. The second one? We didn't start watching it. Yeah, we did. No, we were watching Captain America. No, we started watching the second one right after we watched the first Ant-Man, remember? Where they're like in the little car. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yes. we didn't okay. watch a lot of it. I think we watched, what, like 15 minutes of it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, Ant-Man was really good. I feel really guilty about it. Because <laughs> I didn't know that Justin hadn't seen it. Yeah. So, I'm and, not continuing oh, to watch the Wasp one yet until I watch it with Justin. And you should have seen the drool coming out of her mouth when <laughs> Paul Rudd had his shirt off. I didn't know Paul Rudd looked like that under all those clothes. I thought he had, like, a dad bod. He took it off and I was like, whoa, Paul. Whoa. Just nobody was expecting that. I wasn't... <laughs> Yesterday we were watching the first Captain America. Yeah. Because I haven't seen any of those. Um, or Thor. <laughs> like, I like Marvel. I've seen selective Marvel movies, okay? Um, <laughs> even in Captain America, when we were watching it, Mary was watching it with us, too. Yeah. Um, and then he went from, like, the little guy to the big guy. And Mary and I were just like, we're, we're terrible. Women are, <laughs> some women are worse than men. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like <laughs> so he comes out and we're both like, wow! like fucking like cat calling him through the screen but i was like you know, i still prefer a good pa shirtless paul rudd yeah oh yeah because yeah, he's <laughs> he's slim ripped yeah like he's not a big muscular guy yeah but yeah he's he's ripped i i liked paul rudd before he took his shirt off yeah because he's just really fucking funny yeah and he's he never ages and i was like Chef's kiss. And then he took his shirt off, and I was like... <gasps> <laughs> and then he went from chef's kiss to Sigma Art. <laughs> <laughs> Sigma Art. Yeah. So, maybe I'll get a, a tattoo of shirtless Paul Rudd. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, you've seen the meme. appointment. <laughs> yeah, you've seen the meme with Paul Rudd, where he's like, look at us. Look at us. 
You haven't seen it? No. Are you able to insert videos or no? I, I might be able to. I'm going to show you. This is like an ongoing meme. I don't know if I could download it or not. We'll see. So you know that um, YouTube channel where they interview like celebrities while they eat hot sauce and stuff? Okay. Yeah. So he was on that. And this little interview clip, this is se se seven seconds of the interview, but this became like a fucking meme that people would just send to each other, right? Look at us. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> That's it. So everybody uses that as a meme. So if you ever... That's Paul Rudd? That, yeah. Yes, it is. With facial hair, too. He looks so different. Oh. What is happening? Sorry. Yeah, that's Paul Rudd. You want to watch it again? He has a beard. It just He just looks very big. Yeah. Jawed. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look Didn't at think us. it could get any better, and then he grew a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop being a fucking pervert. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> he's he's great. And other than the fact, I don't know if I like Dant Man so much because of <laughs> Paul Rudd. <laughs> what other what other movie was he in? Was he in the movie Click or something? Wasn't there like a movie I have called no Click? Idea. I have uh, no, I only know him from Ant Man. What really? Yeah, I don't know him for any other movies. Oh my god, Paul Rudd. The title of this episode is going to be Paul Rudd. Shirtless Paul Rudd. <laughs> look at us. What a weird... Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look Who at us. would have thought? Not me. <laughs> um, movies. Ant-Man. <laughs> He's in, like, everything. Have you seen Anchorman? Okay, yeah. He's in Anchorman. Okay. He's in Role Models. He's in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. I haven't seen that. Oh, my God. I have a story. <laughs> I have a story. This was the perfect transition. Have you seen the movie Knocked Up? No. Okay. So my grandmother was talking to her. Sweet okay. old woman. I love her. She raised me. Um, which would explain so much. Um, <laughs> she, I was on the phone with her and she, we're just talking and she's like, oh. Right, right when I... Gonna about yell. To yell? Yeah, he stops. Sorry. I was waiting for you to start talking. Shirtless grandmother? No. <laughs> Do not. No. Um, so I was talking to my grandma. This is a transition into what I just said. I was talking to my grandma, and she's talking about TV shows and movies because she's in a. She's in a like a retirement residence. Okay. Um. So they've been like quarantined for yeah. a really long time. So. She just watches stuff on. She'll tell me about everything. So she's like, oh, yeah, I watched this movie. It came on after 10. And I was like, I'm watching movies after 10, Grandma. She's 87 years old, okay. right? And she's she's not the kind of person that, like, she's very open-minded and a very progressive grandmother. But she doesn't know how to use internet, phones, computers, anything like that. Um, she starts telling me about this movie. And she's like, there was, like, almost real sex in it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Grandma, that's TV now. Um, and she's like, they were talking about drugs and swearing and this and that. And she's talking about how, like, crazy this movie is that it's on TV. And then she says it's about this these two people that had sex the first time they met. She's like, the first time, Vanessa. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, that's not a thing. Um and uh, then she goes on to tell me the plot of the story where there's, like, a lot of swearing and the guy who ends up, like, getting, uh, sleeping with her, like, he gets her pregnant after the first time they meet and then he's doing all these drugs and all these things. And I'm like, what kind of fucking movie is my grandmother watching after 10 p.m.? And then she proceeds to tell me the plot line and I'm like, oh my god, my grandma saw the movie Knocked Up and I can't believe that was on TV. It is the funniest movie in the world. Okay. It has Paul Rudd in it, apparently. <laughs> But it's basically what it sounds like. It's a guy who gets who knocks up some girl at a club. Yeah. But he's like a huge stoner, which is like the, the drugs thing. Yeah. But you need to watch it. It's really funny. But I just thought it was, for anybody that's seen the movie, and anybody who, but nobody knows my grandmother, but it was just so <laughs> funny because I was like, I can't believe my grandma watched Knocked Up. And she was talking about how much she liked it. She's like, it was so funny. And I was I was like, Grandma, you're talking about how bad it was. She's like, it was really bad. But I, I was just so, like, it was so interesting. <laughs> I couldn't stop watching. 
Wow. Oh my god. It has um is it Seth Rogen in it? Sounds like a Seth Rogen type thing. Yeah, he's the guy. Who like so he plays a very he always plays a stoner. Seth Rogen's the one with the weird laugh, right? Is he the one that the, he did the uh, Green Hornet, didn't he? Green Hornet? No, are you talking about Ryan Reynolds? No. Green no, Lantern? Not Green Lantern. <laughs> Bonehead. <laughs> this guy. That's Seth Rogen. Yeah, Green Hornet. That's a good movie. Anyways, I don't know why. Have you seen the movie 40 Year Old Virgin? Nope. I need to go back and watch all these movies that Paul Rudd's in. He's never had a shirt yeah. off in them. So. The Green Hornet. It's on Netflix. You have to watch it. Sounds like a really shitty superhero movie. It's right up Look. there with Green Lantern. So, was it the Green Hornet? Yes, the Green Hornet was a 70s TV show. Okay. And it was basically where Bruce Lee got his start. Oh, cool. So, there was the Green Hornet was the, he's an investigative criminal, like a Batman type thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, but without all the super stuff. Yeah. And his sidekick was Kato. And Kato was played by Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee he always kicked ass in the show and everything. Anyways. So, yeah, they they redid it it's as a Rogen? movie. Seth Rogen. Oh, it's good. It's really good. What kind of character would he play in that movie? He plays the Green Hornet. Oh, yeah. I'm not used to him playing anything other than a stoner or like just a, a young guy. Yeah. So. Does he play the stoner person still? <laughs> oh, now I need to watch it. That's good. I like something. Yeah, it's really good. good. He's great. I, I feel like everybody in the world gets him and Jonah Hill mixed up. Yeah, no, I don't see how that happens. <laughs> I don't know why. You know yeah. who else gets mixed up? I don't know if you were at the store for this conversation. I was mixing Michael Sarah. Were you? No, oh, I think yeah. it was, you were there? Yeah. Who was it? Michael Sarah and... Mike Myers. No. <laughs> I don't know what the... <laughs> you were mixing up I Mike didn't... Myers with somebody. No, I was telling you that I didn't know until like the last couple years, as many times as I've watched Goldmember, that Mike Myers played every character. Yeah. No, I was talking about Michael Sarah. You know who that is? He's from Juno. He plays he also, like... Mike Myers also played all the women. In the uh, Austin Power movies? No, he didn't. <laughs> Beyonce was in that. Jesus Christ, I almost believed you for a second. Okay, do you know who Michael Sarah is? No. Once you see him, you be like, oh, that guy, because he plays the same character and everything. Okay. I got him mixed. He reminds me of the guy from Zombieland, which I think his name is Jesse Eisenberg. Maybe yeah. Eisenberg isn't the right last name. Jesse. Everybody knows who I'm talking yeah. about. This is Michael Sarah, and for some reason, I always get them mixed up. Even I know who is who when I see it, but I get their names and like roles mixed up in my head because they play the same kind of character. Oh yes, you've like, seen okay. Sp- Scott Pilgrim and stuff. Yeah, they, him and the guy in Zombieland play like really good, awkward, like teenage boys. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine only being cast for those kind of roles? <laughs> Like, how sick do you think they are of it? Or do you think they love it because they don't really have to act that much? It's well, like something played, they've gotten good at. What's his name again? Jesse? Yeah. I can't remember his last uh, name. I feel like it's Eisenberg, but I feel like that's also wrong. Type in Jesse Eisenberg, see if I'm right. Yeah, Eisenberg. Okay. Oh, I was right. So he plays um, Lex Luthor. In what? In the uh, the Superman versus Batman. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Justice League. And, yeah. This is what we have to do in our next, our last couple shifts together. We Just have one shift on left thing. together. No. Tuesday. Unless you get called in. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. This week has been really interesting. Because I put my two weeks in. In case anybody didn't know, <laughs> didn't la- yeah. listen to the last episode, <laughs> I am leaving the camera store. Yeah. Um, it's just time to move on. But 
was I saying? Oh, I put my two weeks in. First week was like normal. I was just more aggravated with customers and stuff. Yeah. And then this last week has been like, well, actually, this is the first week. Because next is week is my week. last week. Yeah. So this yeah, this week. Was like in the time. last couple of days, it's really hit me that I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm not coming back this time. <laughs> I did leave once before. Yeah. You were gone for what? Two Six, months. Two months? Yeah. That's it? That was it. Felt longer. <laughs> I'm honored. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it did. It felt like hell for me. So, yeah, <laughs> it was a long time. In case anybody cares to know, should I tell the story? I left the camera store, went to a different place that yeah. paid a lot more. It was a soul a soul sucking job. Yeah. The manager was a complete asshole. I knew this the first week I worked there and I stuck it out for two months and then just quit. Yeah. Because I got my job back at the camera store. So I've been back at our camera store for probably over a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. Like I came back in twenty eighteen from that other job. So that's over a year and a half. That's almost two years. Yeah. And I've been too scared to look for anything else, so I'm going somewhere that has other old Henry's employees, so... Yeah. Oops. Oh, shit. That's okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. Most of us... Most of the people know where we work. We don't want to cut it? No, no. The secret's out. The secret's out. Who <laughs> Everybody who listens work there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone who's who's listening to this podcast already worked there. Well, I'm leaving, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. But... And what are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> You? Threaten me with a better existence? <laughs> Maybe we do need to cut that. <laughs> you still have a job, sir. No, but it's retail, right? So. Yeah. So. Anyways. Anyways, I don't know what. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> but it's been a weird a weird couple days. Yeah. I've stopped caring a lot in the last couple days, in case you haven't noticed, while working with me. Yeah. So, that's yeah, cool, well, it was though. funny last weekend, after you put in your two weeks, like, the we worked the Sunday, and everything was going wrong, and you were just like, oh, I gotta get this fixed, and this fixed, and this fixed, and, and then this weekend, the same problems were happening, and you were like, oh, well. <laughs> the printer stopped printing, and I'm like, fuck it. They don't print. Yeah. Just do this to fix it. Last, we're moving to printer two. Last week when all that... It was a Saturday, too. So last Saturday, yeah, yeah, Saturday I was yeah. so stressed out. And you guys were like, Vanessa, chill. And yeah. I was like, we have to fix all this shit. And I filed all these things with IT. And then this week, all this shit happened. And I was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and that's the thing. is like, yeah, we're key holders. Yeah. But... Our jobs have a certain limit, right? Yeah. Like, and by no means are we... I, am I complaining about my current job? Yeah. Yeah, it's current still when this airs. But yeah, there's only so much you can do. And even this week, the one I've been like, it is what it is. I'm starting to kind of grasp onto that for like everything in life, which I'm totally okay with. That's a mindset I've needed to have for a really long time. Yeah. Because it is what it is. Because I'm always super fucking high strong. <laughs> TM. <laughs> High strung. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's about time for me to... I mean, there's obviously a level of care needed for some things, but, like, not everything needs to be the end of the world. Exactly. So. And it's like it's just, just knowing... Knowing the things you can control, changing the things you can, and knowing the difference between the two. Yeah. Right? So... It is what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yep. It was actually funny you say that. Back when I had my detailing shop, mm -hmm. I had a regular customer. And he worked in the porn industry. Wow, you really? <laughs> he was a producer. He wow. produced movies in the porn industry. He's the one responsible for the, the storylines in these? Is he coming? Oh, he's oh not. No, no, no. Anyways. He's not the, the script no, writer? No. His stuff didn't have script. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he wanted me to put Lambo doors on his Mustang. 
Uh, I didn't end up doing that. And then he wanted to use my shop for Did you let a him? movie. Did you let him? No. I was going to say, we'll have to go watch. Yeah. <laughs> You're famous. <laughs> Anyways, um, he had a girl on one of his movies, and I don't know if I should get into the details. Anyway, she did a threesome. Okay. Okay. And then he saw her like a month or two later. Was she pregnant? No, no, no. Oh, no. oh I, but, was, I was like, oh, come on. But he asked her like how she felt about it and everything like that. And she was like, hey, it is what it is. And he never heard that before. Really? Yeah. So he was like, oh, oh my God. He <laughs> loved the saying and he was saying it everywhere. And he came to the store and told me this story. And he was just like... It is what it is. I just love the, it. Is it's like, dude? Like, where have you been? <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy how how easy it is to get stuck in like a, a high anxiety kind of thing, like yeah. mindset. And it's just it, I feel like it's part of like the whole negativity thing too, just like getting so stressed out about everything. But I've always been like that, so I don't know. It's a good it's a good outlook to carry through life. Yeah. Because, like, it just carries over to everything. Like, I've recently been not caring what people think, either. I'm trying to. Yeah. You know, it's... I can't live my... Whole, if I only get to... This is getting... We're getting into existential crisis time. <laughs> um, if, it's existential if I only crisis get, time. Existential if I'm going to die time. literally any day of my life, why the fuck am I worrying what other people think? Yeah. What? Why have I been doing this my whole life? I feel like my whole life has been a lie. It's been a lie. Another thing is... Don't sweat the petty things. That's and my for thing, God's <laughs> sakes, don't pet trademark. the sweaty things. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I won't pet you then. <laughs> ah, and that was Life Talks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. With Chuck and Vanessa. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Does my lip look fat to you on this side? A little bit. What'd okay. you do? <laughs> I gotta get it out in the air. <laughs> Since everybody knows I'm high strung, I'm actually a compulsive picker on my lips. Okay, I've been like compulsively saying. picking my lips since I was like really little. Okay. Um, but sometimes I get like a really bad I did this one in my sleep. Wow. It's that bad. So I did this one in my sleep and I woke up and I was like, Ah, that's new. <laughs> and then I and I looked in the mirror and I'm like, Fuck! I think it's fat. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Don't pick your skin, kids. If there are kids watching this, <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> we are not age appropriate. No, it says... I, Enjoy your I, innocence. Yeah, when I upload the video, it says, is this video made for kids? It's like, fuck yes. no. <laughs> <laughs> one time, um, I've made one video. You've seen it. Yes. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't, I was going to be like, you fucker. <laughs> no, you, you fucker. <laughs> you, you made me watch it. <laughs> A TikTok just came into my head. I okay. think I made you the one with the dog sitting in the back when he's at Starbucks and he doesn't get a puppuccino. You remember the audio it zooms oh. in and it's like, you fucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we still need to do an episode where we go over some good TikToks and like screen share. Yeah. Just I got to figure out how to do like yeah. a, anyways. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. I don't listen to you anymore. <laughs> just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Motor mouth. <laughs> oh, the uh, the the kids thing on YouTube. Okay. Um, I made my one video, and it's literally just like I was playing around with the camera, and like did a little artsy video of like I in the summer last summer I was I did a lot of like little quick doodles or sketches of wildflowers and stuff, so I was doing that, and I was like, I'm gonna do a video, just like, of I don't know, cool focus pulls and <laughs> stupid shit, right? Yeah. And I did that, and it was like, is this video appropriate for children? This is the first time I've, like, uploaded to YouTube. That's a lie. Um, <laughs> finish that story in a second. Um, maybe I won't. No, I will. Um, but I hit yes. And I was like, sweet. And then I posted it, and then I forget who it was, and they're like, you can't comment on it. And I was like, why? Why? I'm so upset. Why can't you comment on it? And then I found out it's because if you mark it for kids, people can't comment. Yeah. So I was like, no, not appropriate for children. <laughs> um, so at the end of the video, you 
edit it in a fuck yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, flowers. Um, yeah. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, my lying about uh, that being my first YouTube video. <laughs> Did you delete the other one? What the flower one? No, that you're talking about your first. Okay, talk to me. I don't want to. <laughs> Am I gonna show you? And then people can go find it on their own. We're not linking it. So um, <laughs> when I was a teenager, I I was in high school during the golden age and rise of YouTube. Okay. There's a lot of good videos on there. Um, the first video I ever uploaded, which is gone, you cannot find it because I was so, so I was singing. I sang in it. Okay. And I had the cutest little voice. I wish I kept it because I was actually good. And I posted it and all my friends were like, oh my God. And I got so nervous that I deleted it like 30 minutes later. Um, or no, like a day later. And then I started making <laughs> video. We're going to find them because they're still on the internet. I just want to say that my name at the time was Jonas Holick123. Do you know who the Jonas Brothers are? Yeah, they're, they're singers, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, okay. Jonas. Don't look up Jonas Brothers. Okay. I'm not showing you the Jonas Brothers. Good. It's for sacred ears only. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many videos. So in case anybody wants to blackmail me, I haven't removed this. I can't get back into the account. There's a lot of... Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. There's so many videos. There was this one called Tumblr Secrets. Okay. It was a trend where people would, like, play a little song. This was before they took stuff down for having, like, patented, like, copyright, copyright music in yeah. it. And it's still up there. And you sit there and you, like show half your face and then you do like little slides of like like little card things where you show oh, the camera yeah, okay. and you talk about your life or something this is before i hit any hard obstacles in my life and i was like i'm hearing impaired <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what one to show you um everybody knows the channel now but i also had a show with one of my friends in grade nine called the vanessa and emily show we did two episodes okay i wore I feel like you're going to see this and be like, this explains so much of why you're so comfortable in a podcast. I wore bright red pants and a monkey hat, a sock monkey hat for both episodes. <laughs> I am 15. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. Listen to my little voice. Shout out to Andrew if you're still listening. <laughs> he probably has seen this. He's a very loyal friend. Okay. Anyways, it's very boring. Yeah. Did you see my red pants when I sat down? Yes. Yeah. Aren't they glorious? They're bright red. <laughs> um. So I did two episodes with that 11 years ago. Um, wow. The other episode is a Would You Rather. So we got to redo that. Um, <laughs> anyways, if anybody cares to see my blackmail, it's Jonas Holic 123 on YouTube. Please don't. I said if anybody wants a blackmail. J-O-N-A-S. Holic. H, like alcoholic. <laughs> um, yeah, J-O-N-A-S-H-O-L-I-C 123. There were okay. 156 views on it. Oh, Wow. Probably perverts, mainly. Yeah. <laughs> um, then there's this one that has 341 views. Okay. That's me. <laughs> this one makes me want to. This one makes me want to crawl into my, crawl out of my skin. This is what my friends and I did. This is what people did. <laughs> And then I lost the account password, and I couldn't delete any of this. <laughs> In case anybody cares, I'm showing Chuck a video of when I was 15, and my mouth was full of braces. Yeah. You see those braces? 
And uh, I was upside down and I drew eyes on my chin. So it looks like it's talking. I thought this was the funniest shit in the world. So y'all need to... Oh, oh, there's three episodes of the Vanessa and Emily show. Oh, wow. You're catching up to us. I know. I, it has more views than us right now. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. So are you telling me all I need to do is br- wear bright red pants, a sock monkey hat, and be 15? That's yeah. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> That's not happening again. Sorry. Look no, at the, definitely look at, that sock monkey hat. Oh. Look, at, look, at my, look at my profile picture on it. a view into my past a view into the past what's on my favorite this is very oh my god my favorites it shows my favorites publicly okay there's 10 favorites and they're all jonas brothers videos of course (laughs) my shameful past so my youtube channel did you have one growing up no 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 there wasn't YouTube. There wasn't even you know internet. What? I want to say that you were lucky <laughs> to not have that. I enjoy. I enjoyed YouTube growing up, but it was dangerous to have that stuff at our fingertips and have oh, no yeah. idea it would be on the internet forever. As I say this when I'm doing a podcast, it's <laughs> definitely going to come back to bite me in the ass when I'm an old woman. Future Vanessa, hello. So my video... I can have an existential crisis when I'm 60. Playing with the Canon 300mm f2.8. This is really cold. Yeah. I'm I'm at 5,100 views. Jesus Christ. Bring them over here. (laughs) Yeah. Playing with the Canon 70 to 300, 3,500 views. Dude. Like... All those people. Come over here. Yeah. Listen to us. But then I've got... Talk about nothing. Some of my other videos. Oh, Holy fuck, I got a lot of videos. <laughs> Ottawa Craft Beer Festival. <laughs> three views. Wow, three views. Yeah. That's more than some of our videos. <laughs> Even like we my basic Lightroom editing tutorial. Seven views. Wow. I, it's almost as good as your uh, stock photos. Yeah. The pile of nails. <laughs> it's my favorite photo. I think you need to print that off. I nailed and that I... one. <laughs> Why do you have your hood I up? don't know. You have a string thing, uh, like, going up. <laughs> you have a string. There you go. <laughs> Time. It's go. time. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. We're done. Alrighty. Maybe I'll this take was... this off for the goodbye. Okay, so I guess this was episode twenty-three of F. Wow. Photo chat. Toodaloo. Motherfuckers.